Hey guys, Chris here with another video for you. I mentioned in another video that uh, the vise that we purchased was really cool because it allowed us to remove the jaws in order to reposition them uh, to accommodate larger pieces of stock. The only flaw with the, the, uh, the stock jaws is that they are, are really small. And by that I mean they don't allow you to grip larger pieces of work. So what we decided to do was make larger jaws so that they could grip much larger pieces of stock. As you can see in the video, what we're doing is we're facing off the jaws so that each surface is completely smooth and square. This will ensure that the work is centered while it's being held in the vise. The jaws were made from three-quarter inch thick steel, and I have to say, they turned out really well. We were really impressed with the results. After we finished facing off all the sides, uh, we took them over to the, the grinder, uh, just to chamfer the edges and to take off any burrs that were left over. After all the facing was done, we, uh, we took some measurements uh, from the stock jaws. Uh, transferred those measurements over to the uh, the larger jaws that we just made, uh, marked them, and then proceeded to drill the necessary holes so that they'll attach to the vise as if they were stock. We also put a slight chamfer on the edges of each hole, so and you'll, you'll see that in the video. We had to take a, a half-inch end mill and countersink the holes in order for the, the stock bolts to fit these new jaws. Uh, the stock jaws also have countersunk holes, but they aren't as deep as these needed to be. Uh, the bolts that came with it are, are, are just too short. So these larger jaws needed to have uh, countersunk holes that were, were much deeper than stock. I think we ended up with a depth of about uh, a, a half an inch, something like that. But this worked out perfectly, and the jaws slide along the bottom face of the vise, just as the stock jaws do. All in all, I'd say this project was worth it. Uh, this will allow us to work on, on more pieces of stock at one time, which will end up saving us uh, a lot of time and effort in the end. One word of caution here. Uh, you might not see it in the video, but at one point I was checking the surface of the jaws with my finger which was dangerously close to the face mill that was running. Uh, don't ever do this. Uh, I should have turned off the machine before doing this, and it was just a moment of pure stupidity. So please, don't ever do that. Uh, always shut down the machine if you're going to be uh, putting your hands anywhere near the spindle. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.